today and no interviews I'm exhausted go away stop showing off Jeremy and take off those silly glasses hurry up and sign that autograph we're going to be late oh. he doesn't know how to write ha don't listen to them they're just jealous thanks, thanks. they'll sell like hotcakes on the internet huh? Huh? Hi, kids. What can we do for you today? Well, uh, could you juggle? We want to see you juggle, please. Sorry, we'd love to, but we have to practice and... Uh... <clears throat> oh! <laughs> you know what they call me, boys? The king of the juggle. And if a fan asks me to juggle, I juggle. Because without fans, we're nothing. So I bow down before them in humility. Wow! You're a god! Hey, hey can, can you, you give, give us, us some pointers, pointers Jeremy? Jeremy? Hey, Hotshot, let's go or we'll be late. I gotta go work hard and you'll be as good as me. Whatever, Jeremy. You are so full of it. Our fans are wacko. At school today, I actually got a marriage proposal. This little sixth grader got down on his knees and begged me to wait until he turned 18. <laughs> marriage? That's nuts. <laughs> nuts. The thought alone makes me feel stifled. I'm choking. I'm choking. Then again, why not? You're good at changing diapers with all the babysitting you do. Marriage isn't just about changing diapers, you know. Jeremy's so predictable. Keep following them, and make sure everything goes as planned. I'm going to hit him where it hurts most. Hey, Blues! Instead of practicing today, why don't you help us paint the walls? They need it, and it's a good workout. Stop pestering them, Cartoon. The Blues need to practice. Your next qualification match is against the Daredevil Dandies, Blues. I pulled up as much information as I could about them. Check them out. I'm going to give the guys a hand with the paint. Wow, I don't know how good they are at street soccer, but they've got style. Check out those outfits. They look like they just stepped out of a fashion night. It's all about yellow this season. Speaking of which, what's on that yellow sticky note, Shark? Remainder, game against wide boards? Are you sure that's spelled right, Shark? There's more to life than spelling, okay? We didn't know we had a game. I forgot all about it. It's a team of amateurs from the boondocks. They call themselves the wild boars. They're not competing in the trials, but they want to play a friendly match so they can show off for the sheep and the cattle. When is it, though? Hold on. I wrote it down somewhere. Oh, yeah. Match against the wild boars this Wednesday, 3 o'clock, Beltway Interchange. But that's... that's now! Then what are you waiting for, Blues? Let's get going! This is getting out of hand. We're too much in demand. Vic, they just come out. It's working. Good, good. You keep following them until they walk into the trap. You sure Jeremy will react like you predict, hmm? The key to launching a successful war is knowing your enemy well. I dug into Jeremy's past and I dug deep. We got him, I guarantee it. I thought it was that spoiled daddy's girl you hated. Why are you suddenly so intent on going after that moron? Because I have nothing on Eloise. She has no skeletons in her closet, no weaknesses. She's untouchable. Always perfect, always lucky, adored by all, I loathe her. Trust me, I'll find a way to humiliate her. But for the time being, we'll strike elsewhere. Hey, wild boars, we're sorry we're late. 
We found out at the last minute. Oh, don't apologize. It's a great honor for us. It was someone from your fan club that gave us the idea to contact you. Where are you from? From Farmington. My name's Berto, and this is Isa, Samir, Marco, and the little guy is Ben. <laughs> We've been practicing like crazy, and we wanted to see how we measured up. If we should keep going or throw in the towel. <laughs> I can tell you right away, now you should keep going. Hard work and enthusiasm will take you far. Hey, are you okay? You upset? Not at all. I'm fine. It's all good. This is a memorable huh? game for us. We'd like to have it on video. Do you mind? Is that okay? Yeah, of course. We even have a born actor among us. Huh? I want to be alone. It's about to begin. The priest has a camcorder. He's gonna film the game. A camcorder, huh? I hadn't thought of it, but it's all the better. We'll have it all on tape. Excellent. Yes! Just know that we're going to play for real. We won't go easy on you. Oh, we don't want you to. Be hard on us. We'll play like in a real championship. Right, guys? Hard on you? My pleasure. Here. Nice. Now that's what I call street soccer. Whoa! Awesome goal! Huh? Take it easy, Jeremy. Watch that elbow. It's not nice. Jeremy, go apologize to the kid. I'm sure he wasn't aiming for Ben. It wasn't on purpose. Yes, it was. What's more, I'll do it again. <laughs> That's it, enough. You're suspended for the rest of the game. And you owe everyone here an explanation. Right now. Hey, I said you owe us an explanation. Come back. Jeremy, come back here. Jeremy! He reacted like you said he would. He totally lost it. Tag kicked him off. You should have seen it. How is everything going, kids? I see you're practicing. That's good. Keep it up. Oh, we will, Dad. Not only are we practicing hard, but we're working on our opponent's weak points. And it's a strategy that seems to be paying off nicely. Great. You don't need to give me all the details. The only thing that counts is getting results. Isn't that right, dear? Absolutely, Daddy. I promised you results, and you'll get them. Good, good. I set out a healthy snack for you on the terrace. Thank you, Dad. My plan's going better than expected. We can use it to our advantage. Duke, there's an incriminating videotape I'd like to get my hands on. I've got a little job for you. Mm -hmm. And he didn't say where he was going or what he was planning to do? No, nothing. He left without saying a word. Well, we've wasted enough precious time. I must call the police, I'm afraid. Jeremy, there you are. We've been worried sick. What on earth got into you? And, and where, where have you been? been? Quiet! We'll deal with the why, where, and when later. But first and foremost, I would like to know if Jeremy realizes the seriousness of his actions. I warned you when you arrived. You've already been expelled for running away and destructive behavior from nine different schools. You're playing with fire, my boy. 
Don't waste your breath. I've heard it before. I'm going to bed. Wait a uh -huh. second. Talk to <laughs> us. We're your friends. We just want to help. Jeremy Weber, your behavior will not be tolerated in this school. As of right now, you may not leave the school grounds until further notice. But what about our qualification games and our practices? For the time being, Jeremy's suspended from the competition. What happened with the wild boars is serious. Very serious. Look, if you want to resolve this, Jeremy, you need to explain to us why you were purposely brutal with that poor kid. He didn't deserve it. <laughs> you need to apologize to him publicly. Apologize, huh? I don't need to apologize, and I won't. And I don't owe anybody here an explanation. So get lost, okay? You, that dumb kid, and everyone else. I'm gone. Goodness gracious! Quick, stop him! Jeremy! Go! Jeremy! Jeremy! Don't go! Come back! I see, I see. The more details you can give me, the better. Now try to remember, when did you see him for the last time? Which way was he heading? And what clothes was he wearing when he ran away? We looked through his notebooks and rummaged through all his stuff looking for clues, but we found nothing. We have no idea where he could be. Shark, what's up? Any news? Oh, I see. Okay, you too. Nothing. The Sharks and the other team scoured the city with a fine-tooth comb. No sign of Jeremy, though. I think we need to approach this like an investigation. We should start out by trying to figure out why Jeremy acted in such an incomprehensible manner. Well, he has a grudge against the Boers, apparently. Not exactly. I was observing him. His anger only seemed directed towards the kid, Ben. Then we need to go to Farmington, where the wild boars are from right away. Hopefully it will give us some clues. Before we say anything more, we first wanted to apologize to you. Wow, an autographed ball with a personal message from the world champions. It's too much. You didn't have to do that, you know. It's the least we could do after what happened. We're really sorry about how our teammate acted. We don't understand why he did that. It's not like him. Um, had any of you ever seen Jeremy before? Did you know him? I mean, before the game? Father Mark asked us that too, but none of us know him. We're from a very small town. We rarely go into the city. The children had seen pictures of your teammates and the blues on the internet, but that's all they know about you. Nothing more. What about you, Ben? Do you have any idea why Jeremy threw the ball at you? I guess he was angry, but I don't see why. He out-dribbled me. I'm nothing next to him. What did I do to make him so mad? It wasn't you. Maybe our friend mistook you for somebody else. There's no other explanation. Mm. Wait a minute. I just remembered. The kids told me you filmed the game with a camcorder, Father. Perhaps if we watch the tape, it might help us understand. That's a good idea. You're right, Coach. We might find a clue or something we didn't notice at the time. You never know, right? I keep the camcorder right here, and the tape is in it. What? The camcorder is gone. I put it there myself. How is that possible? It's gone. Nice. This goes beyond my wildest expectations. Jeremy has just signed his own death warrant. <laughs> <laughs> Losing Jeremy will be a tough blow for the Blues. They'll lose game after game, which means the Black Devils will qualify for the World Cup. Let's get the footage on the internet right now. No, someone might trace it back to us. We're going to do it in a more discreet manner. We're going to send the tape anonymously to the editor-in-chief of Channel 7 News. I'm telling you, I think it's some sort of conspiracy. The game against the wild boars, Jeremy's reaction, the stolen camcorder. I'm convinced someone is behind this and that they're out to destroy us. Come on. I mean, you saw those kids and that nice priest who's their coach. All they wanted was to play a friendly match against us. They're good, honest people. Yeah, it can't be a plot. Jeremy has a hot temper, right? He blew a fuse, that's all. As for the camcorder, there's thieves everywhere, even in small towns. Hold on. The boars said someone from our fan club organized the game, right? It could have been anyone, though. Who? The Black Devils? Vic knows she could get us into big trouble. I mean, this is serious. Breaking and entering is a felony. Hmm. Maybe... 
I'm just paranoid. Yeah, all day I've been looking and looking. Still no sign of Jeremy. But uh, I did stumble on something that I think might interest you. You'll never guess what I saw. Cat to the chase, cartoon. I found the camcorder. As I was saying, I scoured the city. A bunch of us guys split up looking in every nook and cranny for Jeremy, but there was no sign of him. Suddenly, just when I was about to head back, I saw one of the devils, Duke, the Vietnamese one. And guess where he was going? To Big Bill's, a store that sells used hi-fi equipment known for taking and selling goods. Duke sold him a camcorder. That's quite a coincidence, don't you think? Huh? Cartoon, I knew you were good, but I didn't know you were this good. They're leaving. Get ready. Go. Let's go, bro. Like you're heading towards Midtown. Head for Midtown. Go. All right. You turned right. Don't lose them. Don't worry, sis. I'm on the tail. They're on Idlewood, in the business district. Go. We'll take the shortcut through the port. Getting out! In front of Channel 7, the evening news! Drop the envelope! Yeah! Alert! Ah! Tag! Woof! Eloise! Ooh. It's all over. Because the only thing that matters is winning. You should know that. Uh. No! Game over, psycho sheet devil! Ah! <laughs> Rock and roll! Yeah! Leave Jeremy alone, or I'll tell the Federation about your twisted schemes, you psycho. See ya. I'll get my revenge, Blues. Blues, here, have fun! Uh, uh, yes! Ah, there. The nightmare's over. No, uh. not yet. We still haven't found Jeremy. But he's been here all along, right under your nose. Yeah. Jeremy! It's, it's really, really you, you finally. finally! We look for you everywhere. But I was right here, hiding. I didn't know where else to go. Talk to us. What happened? As you know, uh, I was raised by my mom. My father left us when I was just one. Later, I found out he remarried and had another son and lived with his new family not far from Maryport. A few weeks ago, he sent me a picture of his son. Ben! I guess I was jealous. When I saw him at the game, looking so serene and happy, I felt anger rising up in me. He had the father I never had. He reminded me how much my mother had suffered. I lost it. It took me a while to calm down, and, and then I realized it wasn't Ben's fault my father abandoned us. I'm gonna fix this tag, trust me. Just find a way to stall Miss Adelaide for a few more days. I'll take care of the rest. I'll see you at the Daredevil Dandies game. Don't bother finding me a sub. But uh, he's still suspended, right? He said to trust him, did he not? So, we're gonna trust him.
Okay, I know he told us to trust him, but where on earth is he? Don't worry, guys. We can count on Jeremy. Everyone, this is my brother. He's gonna be my sub for the game. Welcome, Ben. I bet you have the jitters, huh? It's okay. We're with you. You'll see. This game is going to be awesome. Uh, this is all very touching, but uh, you guys are almost sure to lose if you play with him. No big deal. What Jeremy did today is worth more than any world championship. You're right. That's the real spirit of street soccer. That's what it's about. who won the last Street Soccer World Cup. Has your life changed because of it? We, uh... Well, we're pretty well known, thanks to it. We get a lot of hits on our website. And you were at the origin of the first World Cup, I understand? Well, Fede deserves all the credit. He's the one who made our dream possible. Uh, we have to go, I'm afraid. Our game's about to begin. Yup, and it won't be easy. Our opponents are incredibly fast sprinters. We have the new blues. fans. The two, four, six, eight. Yeah. 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 Two, two, four, six, eight. Where do we eliminate the tigresses? The tigresses. Oh. The tigresses. Oh. The tigresses. Oh. The, tigresses. Oh. the two teams playing in today's friendly match are the Blues, world champions, and the tigresses. Ready? Uh. Uh. Huh? You run faster than the speed of light. Blues. Blues. And, and the, the tigresses. going to find here new admirers are more of a hindrance than a help. They're fast runners, but their shots are weak. They lack in power. I say we reinforce our defense. If we don't let them get near the goal, they won't be able to score. Yeah! Oh, yeah. Wow. 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 
Green, one nil. The Blues are number one. We will rock you. We will rock you. We will rock you. We will rock you. Ball crossed the line. Why not? You're the ref. ref. Are, Are you blind or what? She blocked the shot. Hey, I'm the ref. I get to make the decisions. Buy yourself some glasses, ref. Come, Come on, on, Blues. Kick some time. I don't understand. Up. It's not usually like this, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Enough. If that's how it is, we leave it. Wait, hold on. We have nothing to do with it. We're sorry. Come on, let's finish the game. Hmm. Blues, I want you to make sure this doesn't happen again. That kind of attitude gives a bad name to street soccer. Hey, what can we do about it? It's not like we can go over and yell at them for cheering us on. Yes, we can, and we have to. We've got to go over there and talk to them. It's unacceptable. I don't believe it. It's them. I must be dreaming. Oh, my gosh, they're even cuter close up. Please, will you give us an autograph? <laughs> Please, will you? Ugh. On my shoulder, if you want. Can I have your T-shirt as a souvenir? Or your socks? Come on, can I? Please, please, pretty please. Our names are Chloe and Lola. We're presidents of your fan club. It's true. We're your biggest fans. We became, like, totally infatuated with you when we saw your website. Let's go save them. Come on. We hate huh? to interrupt your love fest, but we've got some rowdy fans to take care of, remember? Uh, sorry, girls, but we really don't have the time right now. No, wait. Don't go come back. Bye, girls. I'm at the Riffler Institute if you want to find me. My dormitory is on... Whoa! Hey, who do you think you are? I'm a celebrity, you know. Huh? Ugh. Oh, no, they're gone. Nice going, guys. We missed them. I don't know which fans are worse, the rowdy guys or those psycho girls. <sighs> those girls are like leeches. Now we'll never get rid of them. I think I have a solution. We're going to make a little video of the boys. <laughs> when we show them as they really are, those girls will lose interest quickly. Trust me. Who would do such a thing? Yes, our terrorists are going to pay for this. This is to be incredible. sure about that. Hey, Victoria, huh? good news. From what I just witnessed, I think the Blues are about to get into some serious trouble. Mm -hmm. Yes, hello. I'd like to speak with the reporter who attended the street soccer game yesterday evening. The problem with a team like the Blues is they've always wanted to be celebrities. So they created a fan club, the Total Blues. They encourage these rowdy supporters to pull stunts such as this to get people to talk about them, to get attention. Victoria is the bane of our existence. Yeah, I don't know who's worse. Victoria are our own supporters. In any case, word has gotten around quickly, that's for sure. The entire world knows about it now. Last night, overzealous fans of a local street soccer team, the Blues, wreaked havoc upon the city of Maryport, leaving the inhabitants in a state of shock. Hello, Blues. I take it you already know why I'm calling. The Total Blues are giving street soccer a bad reputation. I want you to deal with the problem. I'm counting on you. Great. Thanks to them, we're giving street soccer a bad name. Hey, it's not our fault. Why should we be held responsible for what those total psychos do? Maybe you could post a warning message for them on your website. I'm sure they'd read it. No. We need to talk to them face to face. Otherwise, they'll take it wrong. Anyway, we'll be seeing them soon. We have a qualifying match at the end of the week. Come on, let's kick the ball around. It'll take our mind off everything. Yoo -hoo. Huh? Hi, boys. Guess who's back? Oh. We couldn't wait until your next game. Yeah. Mind if we watch you play today? Not at all. 
Here, check it out. <laughs> wow! You're awesome! We're so impressed! And, um, uh, I can balance the ball on my head for an hour. Check it out. Hey, look! I can do push-ups with just one hand! Wow! Huh? Yikes! I think they left their brains in the locker room. I think it's time to bring out our secret weapon, Samira. We're going to get it all on film. <laughs> Will you pass the sparkling water? Sure. I wouldn't want you to get dehydrated. You think you hadn't eaten for a week? I have the name of your next opponents. You'll never guess who. I just found out. The Tigresses. That's right. It's the luck of the draw, I guess. I better tell Eloise and Samira. Uh oh. Hmm? Ah, finally! They just posted the Blues' next game on the website. I'm gonna need your help. We're late. We better cut through the parking lot. Wait, what was that noise? You hear it? It's nothing. We're going to miss the game if we don't hurry. Total blues. Quick, let's go. Run, Zoe. <gasps> We don't want to hurt you. But if you don't let the oh. Blues win today, we're going to get very, very nasty. You get the picture? I hope we don't have a problem with the Total Blues today. As soon as they get here, we'll go talk to them. Hey, Blues! Pretty fired up, huh? We have our work cut out. Come on, let's concentrate before the game. Yeah, blues! Your lucky charms are here, boys! Good luck! They're adorable. If all our fans were like that, frankly, I'd switch teams. You wouldn't be a little jealous, would you? <laughs> Good luck, boys! <laughs> Zoe and Nadia should be here any minute. We're in luck. The Total Blues didn't show up. Remember, defense is the key. We have to keep the Tigresses from building up momentum. Okay? It's about time. This qualification match for the next Street Soccer World Cup is about to begin. The teams competing today are the Blues of Maryport and the Tigresses from the South Side. Yeah!
shot. Ha ha! Tigers is stink. Tigers is stink. Tigers is stink. What's going on? I'm sorry. I can't concentrate with those rowdy fans. Blues roll. Blues roll. Hey, what's with you today? Sorry. should not be allowed to behave in such a manner. It's unacceptable. No one can play under such conditions. We need to do something. You're absolutely right, Victoria. Come. The Blues have an unfair advantage. The Tigresses are being intimidated by their fans. It's obvious, and it's unacceptable. My daughter's right. The use of verbal and physical intimidation tactics should be severely sanctioned. It's outrageous. I assure you, the Blues find it just as unacceptable. They don't get to choose their fans. But don't worry, I'm gonna take action right away. Half time! Listen, Blues, your fans have gone too far. This can't go on. You have to deal with the problem. We wanted to talk to them, but they were here after the game started. Those guys don't listen to anyone. There's no point. They're total psychos. They even tried to... Never mind. Hold it. What's going on? Something's not right with you today, I can tell. If you know something about the total Blues, now's the time to say it. Okay. I guess it's worth the risk. Two total blues attacked us in the parking lot before the game. No huh? way! That's oh. nuts! They said that if we didn't let you win, they'd hurt us. This is more serious than we thought, I'm afraid. How could street soccer fans do such a thing? It goes against everything we stand for. Sorry, Blues, but I'm going to have to apply the regulations. I don't understand. How are we supposed to control our own fans? We're soccer players, not security guards. This game is canceled. You're temporarily suspended from the trials. And you may lose points in the rankings. I'm not gonna believe this. It's a disaster. The Total Blues attacked the Tigresses in the parking lot. Huh? So the Blues got suspended from the World Cup. Oh no, why? It's not the Blues' fault those Total Psychos attacked them. Those guys are Total Maniacs. Hey, we didn't attack anyone fat so, so stop spreading false rumors. Let's not stick around. This could get ugly. Hey, we need to talk, come back. You can run, but you can't hide from us. Dressed in blue? Yeah. They went towards the port. You can't miss them with the racket their scooters make. Thanks, guys. <laughs> it wasn't us, honest. We had nothing to do with the attack, Blues. We wouldn't do that, even for you. Then how do you explain that the Tigress has accused you? Don't let them fool you, Tag. If it wasn't you, why'd you take off, huh? You guys are scum. Huh? Hey, huh? Are you nuts or what? Why would we attack those chicks, huh? It's lame. We're not out to get you suspended. Well, that's exactly what happened. You satisfied? If you don't believe us, that's your problem. Let's split. We're out of here. After a vicious attack by two Blues fans and meant to intimidate their opponents, the Blues have been temporarily suspended from the World Cup trials. The Federation is currently investigating the circumstances of the attack to determine whether or not the Blues can continue to defend their world championship title. That's our sports news for the day, and now it's time for the weekend weather forecast. Cut the Over sound. You, Bob. I'm not in the mood to make our mini movie anymore. Oh, come on. We've got some great material. It'll get our mind off things. It'll be fun. Here, let's look at the pre-game footage we shot. Oh, this is funny. It's Gabe imitating Chloe. That's like, so cool. The blues drooled all over this water bottle. I'll treasure it forever and ever and ever. Wait, it can't be. Can you rewind a little? I thought I saw Victoria and Alex. Keep going, keep going. A little more. Almost. Stop. Uh-oh. They look like they're up to something. Wait, is that a Total Blues t-shirt I'm seeing? Let's try to zoom in. Vic and Alex used those Total Blues t-shirts to attack the Tigresses. It's obvious. There's no other explanation. Yeah, and no one knows the rules better than Victoria. She knew this could get us suspended and eliminated. Shark, we're gonna need your help. You got it, Tag. I'll have my guys follow her, day and night. Come on, we better hurry. Thank you.
We just saw Vic and Alex sneaking out of St. Xavier's. Cartoons tailing them discreetly. Okay, we're on our way. They're heading towards the sardine factory. Let's go. Call Samira and Eloise. Looks like the total blues have been here. No, that's Vic and Alex's work of art. Hmm? Come on. Feel free to let loose. The Total Blues will pick up the tab. <laughs> <laughs> cool. <laughs> Say cheese, Victoria. Uh -huh. That'll be in the paper tomorrow. No, don't do that, I beg you. I know this looks bad, but we... We came here to help. It's true. Now the Blues are the victims, you see. Victims of your own uncontrollable fans, you understand? Really? Nice try, Victoria, but no one is going to buy your story. But I think the papers will be very interested in our story. No! Tag, please don't do that. I admit it. I was jealous of your success. Insanely jealous. So I took advantage of the situation. <laughs> but if you show those pictures, you'll not only destroy me, you'll destroy the Black Devils. The other players are innocent. Yeah, and they don't deserve to have a twisted captain like you. Oh. Okay, Victoria. Out of respect for your team, we're going to keep what you did a secret. But in exchange, you're going to clean the graffiti all over the city. Then, you'll clean up our headquarters, leave it spick and span to make up for the damage you caused tonight. Consider yourselves lucky. You're getting off pretty easy. Total Blues, I owe you an apology. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have accused you without proof. Well, we owe you one, too. It's true, we haven't been very cool, either. Yeah, we'll behave ourselves from now on. We don't want to get our favorite team into trouble. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the new qualification match between the Tigresses and the Blues. Um, unlike the last time, we hope today's game will be played under better conditions. <laughs> It's a draw. Final score, two all. Yeah. Uh-oh, gotta look good for our fan club. <laughs> Can we have your autograph? No? Can we please, please, please? What's the deal? What are we, chalk liver? What has he got that we haven't got? <sighs> Girls are a mystery, aren't they? I wonder what made them get over you. Any ideas, Samira? <laughs> well, it might have to do with the movie. Huh? What movie? What did you do? <laughs> We are so dead. Man, you're evil. There goes my reputation. We've lost all credibility. Our fans will laugh in our faces now. <laughs> oh, you still have a couple of diehard fans left, you know. <laughs> Come on, leave them in the dust! Street soccer. Come on, let's go. Sledgehammer. Go! We're the Black Devils, and we're invincible. Come on, keep up the pressure. I hate to admit it. But the Black Devils are amazing. They've got skill, speed, and most of all, determination. They have it all. No, they don't. They're missing what's most important. They have no, no respect, no loyalty. I'm telling you, nothing's going to change them. <laughs> You be careful. Just where do you think you are? Have some respect. Good job, Igor. In order to win, you have to be ruthless. <laughs> Take it, Sledgehammer. All the way to the goal. <gasps> oh, the oh. squash him.
there, cutie? Oh, thank you, thank you. Nice going, Eloise. What are you trying to do, huh? Show off? Or are you trying to sabotage us? None of the above, Vic. I was trying to keep the baby from getting trampled on. Sledgehammer wasn't in need of your intervention. He would have avoided him, and he would have scored if you hadn't gotten in his way. You weren't concerned about the baby, were you? Winning is all that matters to you. You don't care about the rest. You're ruthless, Victoria. And you're gutless, Enough, Eloise. Enough, you pest. We've had it with you. You don't make the rules in our neighborhood. If you're here, it's only because we allowed you to be. And now we're telling you to get out. The street doesn't belong to you. I have every right to... Scram, get out. Or should I call the baby's father? You want me to tell him what happened? Come on, devils. There's too many old hags in this neighborhood. We're out of here. Well, I guess they deserved it. Did you all see how she dove to save the baby? Ha, huh, I'm telling you, this girl is an angel. <laughs> the only thing you're missing is wings. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you should have seen her gloat, Dad. That spoiled little show-off treated like a hero by that group of useless housewives. Here she's trying to sabotage our game and she's applauded for saving a baby. I despise her. Forget her, Victoria. You no, don't... No, Dad, I have to do something. I have to find a way to destroy her. A way to get rid of that lucky star that always protected her. I want her to suffer, Dad. Eloise will always be Little Miss Perfect, and I'll always be mean, nasty Victoria. I'll never measure up to her. Well, if that's how you feel, then we'll have to find a solution. We can't let that Riffler girl overshadow you forever, Victoria. I want to play against her again. Humiliate her. Defeat her. Then she'll be the loser and I'll be the winner. Yes, but in order to guarantee your success, I suggest we come up with an elaborate plan together. When is your next game against the Blues scheduled for? It hasn't been scheduled. We're in different pools. It could be months before we play the Blues. Hmm, indeed, that is a problem. But I may have a solution. Mr. Malotra has excellent news for the entire city and for street soccer fans. Hmm, Gabriel? What's going on? Look, incredible. Since the two best street soccer teams in the world reside in Maryport, huh? I thought to myself, hmm. what an excellent opportunity to organize a friendly match and a benefit game between Maryport's two favorite teams, the Black Devils and the Blues. The event would not only promote street soccer, but it's also a charity event. All the profits would go towards building a new homeless shelter in Maryport. Did I hear that right? They want the Blues to play a friendly match against the Black Devils? Friendly my foot. We heard about the friendly match. We hope you win. What a brilliant idea, Blues. All of us fans are so excited, we can't wait. <laughs> From the look of it, he can't wait either. Come on, Marcel. You see that? They put posters up all over the city. This is a real problem. I don't know if we can refuse to play. Yeah! Wait to watch you play. It'll be the best game ever. <laughs> I guess we can't refuse. Mm -hmm. We can't let them down. This is totally nuts. That's all anyone talks about. It's become an obsession. So what? It's no big deal. It's just a game. With the Black Devils, it's never just a game. And it's definitely not a friendly one. What I'd really like to know is why Melotra organized it. It's just a strategy. They play with all their subs. They rotate. And they make us run like crazy. That way they tire us out for our next qualification game. Simple. They want to tire us out, huh? In that case, we need to find a strategy so they don't. No, forget strategies. We'll play like we always do. If the Devils beat us, big deal. It's just a friendly match after all. It's never a friendly match against the Black Devils, but I know exactly how we can beat them. We'll just have to get our own substitutes. Huh? Who, though? And how would we integrate them into our team in such little time? We just have to pick the right players. Yeah, this is so awesome. We'd play for the Blues any day. And we can't wait to play with Jeremy and Samira. We're big fans. You guys are great. <laughs> Unlike those two labos over there, I really don't know how you put up with them. <laughs> well, they're not as lame as they seem. Thanks for accepting. It's cool of you guys. I owe you big time. We'll need to practice. How about this afternoon by the port at the old warehouse? We're going to practice by the port. Awesome. Just like the good old days. Yeah! yeah. yeah. yeah.
Hey, that's some pace I can't keep up. Gabriel, up. Jeremy, you're on. Yeah! Come on! Keep it moving! <laughs> Take it to the rooftop! Up one level! You're nuts! Ah! Ah! Yeah. Huh? Don't you think you're going a little overboard? Okay, we'll go back down. Samira! Good job. Awesome, Samira. Thanks, guys. Excellent. All right, I'm gonna take Noah and Jeremy off, and Gabriel and I will go on. We need to try every possible combination. If your plan was to tire them out with our substitutes, I get the feeling they have outsmarted you. I'm afraid you underestimate me, Igor. It's all under control. My plan is more diabolical than that. I'll explain all the details later on. But in the meantime, the Black Devils are going to become the darlings of Maryport. They'll love us, idolize us, name streets after us. We're going to become heroes. <laughs> to show you that even in abandoned wastelands, the joy of living can return. send those devils straight to paradise. <laughs> it's a well-known fact. Bad guys always end up losing, right? Hey, Captain. After that intense workout, we could use a cone to cool off. What do you say? Only if I can take your order. That's an order. <laughs> yes, sir, Captain. I'll have a hot fudge sundae with whipped cream and a cherry on top. The increasingly popular street soccer team, the Black Devils, are using their celebrity status to support charitable causes. Today, huh? for example, they reached out to the needy by distributing clothing and blankets to the homeless. They also gave a helping hand to elderly huh? senior citizens from the Beaumont Retirement Home and shared their talent with underprivileged kids from a nearby children's shelter. Perhaps their biggest accomplishment was cleaning up an abandoned inner city wasteland with the help of local teams and making it seem fun. We see it as our duty to be worthy role models. Life's not a game, it's so much more. Life's not a game, it's so much more. <laughs> I can't believe she had the nerve to say that. What a nasty hypocrite. You little good-for-nothings. Those nice kids out there doing what they can to help. And all you can do is insult them incredibly. Yeah, shame on you. While you were here eating ice cream, the Black Devils are out there helping people in need. Oh, but they're the world champions. Just because they won the World Cup, <laughs> they think they're entitled to everything. Guys, let's split. That's it. Beat it. Scram, you lazy bums. Go slack off somewhere else. Ruffians. That's what they are. How can people be so naive? The Devils put on a fake act for the camera, and people eat it right up. One thing's for sure, Victoria's up to something. The friendly match, their good deeds and the TV report, they're all part of some twisted scheme. Who knows what's next? Okay, we need to keep a low profile. We practice, we keep quiet, and we concentrate. We have to stay focused, play our best, and win the game. Yeah, play and win. That's all that really matters, right? Yep, against the Devils, that's all that matters. In just a few moments, the much-awaited friendly match between the Black Devils and the Blues will finally begin. A huge crowd has gathered here today, eager to attend this extraordinary face-off and participate in a charitable cause.
Citizens of Maryport, welcome. It is both a pleasure and a great honor to host this charitable sports event that will benefit the homeless of our city. Before the game begins, I'm going to ask the players of the two competing teams to collect your donations, which will be used to build a new homeless shelter. Remember, we're counting on your generosity. <laughs> this reminds me of when I was an altar boy. Shh, keep a low profile. Follow the devil's lead. <laughs> Thank you so much. Go ahead. Oh, thank you for your donations. You have all been very generous. The time has come. Excuse me, Mayor. Just a moment. But, uh. Mind telling me what's going on, officer? Um, uh, we have a little problem. A problem? Uh, uh bear with me for a few minutes while we finish up uh, uh, collecting your donations. <laughs> uh, whose bag is this? That's donation money. It's obvious. That little thief stole it. Have you no shame? I don't understand. I left it on the bench by the I gold. I refuse to believe it. How could you even think of accusing her? Eloise is honest. She's from a good family. It's unthinkable. She wouldn't steal from the homeless. That would be despicable. Cut the act, you viper. Shut your filthy, rotten mouth. What? You're my friend. All I did was defend you. Ooh. That little daddy's girl is a thief. A girl who has everything she wants. Her Despicable. parents are rich. Shame on you. Miss Ripper, I'm afraid you'll have to come with me. It's not fair. She didn't do it. This is all a setup. How dare you treat my daughter like a criminal? It's unacceptable. May I demand an explanation? This is preposterous. Let's not allow this minor incident to spoil the festivities. The situation is under control and is now in the hands of the police. In the meantime, let the game begin. We have to focus on the game and play. Otherwise, we'll give Vic what she wanted. Yep. Gabriel, go and go. Jeremy, Samira, and the twins out on the field. I'll take care of Eloise. There's no way we can lose. Without that show-off in the goal, we'll break through their defense like a hot knife through butter. Me? In goal? This is not good. <laughs> Go up into the bleachers! Whoa. When we get to the station, you distract Snide. Meanwhile, I'll help Eloise escape. Whoa, 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 do you realize what you're saying? We can't bust Eloise out of jail, Tag. That's nuts. And if we do, then what? You're right, it's nuts. It'll never work. But seeing her humiliated in front of everybody, it's unbearable. Vic set her up. She's the one who put that money in her bag. I know how much you care about Eloise, but the only thing we can do is go talk to Snide. Let's go to the station and try to talk sense into that stubborn mule, all right? He won't believe us. The proof is against her. No, there's only one solution. I'm gonna take the blame for it. What? You're gonna take the blame for something you didn't do? If you confess, there's no going back, Tag. Tag! He's sacrificing himself for a girl. How courageous. Yes, it's sweet. That boy must be in love. <laughs> Whoever it is he's protecting, she's a lucky girl. Well, he did say her name, Eloise. Wait, could it be the same Eloise who saved the toddler? That sweet little angel? I wonder what happened. Who would try to set her up? These accusations are absurd. Our daughter has no need to steal, I assure you. Sometimes kids steal just for fun. Do you know how many rich kids are brought in for stealing around here? Not our daughter, and we'll prove it. I'm going to call the best lawyer in town immediately. I'll take this to the Supreme Court if I have to. Wait, I did it. I confess, I'm guilty. It wasn't Eloise. I'm the one who stole the money. I'm so sorry. Eloise is innocent. Well, well, well. 
Isn't that interesting? It seems we have a confession. But you still have some explaining to do, Tag. Mind telling me how and when you stole the money, huh? Uh, uh, I took it from the basket, put it under my sweatshirt, and then uh, when no one was looking, I... Uh... I was watching you the whole time, Tag. Uh... You were right in front of me, and I remember uh... quite clearly you putting all the money you collected into the pile. But... No, that's it. I've heard enough. I have all the proof I need. I'm formally charging Eloise Whipler for the what theft that? of... Huh? There was no theft. Would you mind telling us what our donations are doing here, officer? Your donations? But, but I... This adorable little girl helped us collect donations in our neighborhood. We were going to add them to the rest afterwards when the game was over. It was a surprise. Go ahead, honey. Tell him. Go on. Yeah, right. It was supposed to be a surprise. But why didn't you say so earlier? Because you didn't let me speak. Well, folks, I guess it's case closed. <gasps> Not quite. There's still a game to win. Three now for the Black Devils! See, I told you! We're clobbering them! And the money from the working class neighborhood? Does it smell bad or something? Is it not as good as everyone else's? This adorable young lady put lots of time and energy into collecting these donations. You bunch of ingrates! Thanks for sticking up for me, Vic. It was sweet of you. But I'm back, so you don't need to worry. And now, excuse me, I'm leaving with the gold. Huh? No mercy. Got it? Tag, take me and Noah. off. Your turn to play. We're behind, but we can still catch up. Mm. That's right. I dribble better than I block. Keep the momentum. Keep it going. Time. This game is over, Malutra. Huh? Listen up, folks. This has been a magnificent game. But let's not forget it's a friendly match. Both teams played with great talent. Let us applaud them all as champions and allow them all to rest. Long live Mary Poor! <laughs> you know, I've tried hard to be understanding to justify your anger and resentment, Victoria. Frankly, Eloise, I couldn't care less about your understanding. Well, it's over, because what you tried to do today made me realize what a threat you are to street soccer. Your street soccer? Full of moral hogwash for losers and morons. No, full of friendship, respect, and solidarity. We'll defend the real spirit of the game as long as we have to. We'll defeat you, Victoria. I promise you that. <laughs> I heard the Black Devils put a video up on their website. Everyone says it's awesome. We should check it out. The Black Devils, the new reference in street soccer, the revelation of the year, combining a wicked physical condition and exceptional technique. The Black Devils, the team that will overthrow the Blues and qualify for the World Championships. Fat Egon Nelson Sledgehammer Vic on the road to victory. The Black Devils and the Blues are neck and neck in the rankings. Who will come out on top of the pool? The Black Devils, who else? Because the Black Devils are invincible! <laughs> Whenever 
I see one of their videos on the internet, I break out in hives. I can see why. The devils have this need to brag and create hype. It's self-promotion, disinformation. It's not street soccer. Little by little, they're destroying the spirit of the game. They have the wrong mindset, but pretend to be role models. The worst part is, kids look up to them. They're among us. They've taken on human form. But they're scheming in the shadows. No one is aware of the danger that lies ahead. No one can see their power-hungry invaders in disguise. Invaders that are planning to take over the world! <laughs> are you saying the Black Devils are making us a little paranoid? Not a little, totally paranoid. You're losing it. They beat the drums of war and you get all worked up. Well, what do you suggest we do? We can't just pretend they're not a threat. Come on, they're not superhuman. They're ordinary mortals, just like you and me. Out on the field, everyone's equal, right? All we have to do is play, win, qualify for the World Cup, and the devils are history. Am I huh? dreaming, or is Jeremy becoming wise? Well, I wouldn't go that far, but what he just said is true, for once. And we're gonna listen to him. <laughs> yeah! So, uh, who are we playing next? Shark wrote it down on this sticky note. Next game, spelled G-A-Y-M-E, the Alleyway Angels. He wrote angels with a J. <laughs> All right, so we need to get Shark some spelling lessons. In the meantime, we have research to do. Come on, let's look them up. The Alleyway Angels, let's see here. Okay, here we go. Out of the 10 games total, they had eight defeats and two draws. You mean they haven't won a single game? The poor things. It doesn't sound like it'll be a tough game. So I say we wrap practice up early today. We're gonna take it easy. For uh, real? Huh? That means I don't have to miss the greatest concert of all time. That's right. Tonight, the Ghetto Blasters are playing live right here in Maryport. You've heard of them, right? It's this amazing rap group. Their lyrics are awesome. Since I've gone to so many concerts, their fan club sent me a free ticket. Do you ever pay for anything? You get free stuff all the time. Is it me, hmm? or am I sensing a little jealous? Of course he's jealous. He should be. This ticket is priceless. The concert is sold out. <laughs> you, uh, uh, have fun playing ball tonight, huh? <laughs> no pain, no gain. Faster, faster, you have to be able to accelerate in a split second. Now work on your ball control. The ball should be an extension of your foot. You must learn to anticipate, eliminate surprise. To do that, you must take the initiative. Do you understand? It's a lost cause. We're hopeless, aren't we? No, you're not hopeless at all. On the contrary, you're malleable. You're like putty in my hands. I'm gonna shape you and transform you into champions. Really? Champions? Of course, I'm not the type to waste my time. The minute I saw you, I knew you had amazing potential. You may not know this, but the Black Devils have big plans for the future. After we win the World Championship, which we will, we plan on going professional. And in order to do that, we're going to be needing a lot more players on our team. We're going to make history. The Black Devils will be the origin of the next generation of champions, and you can be part of it. But that will require perseverance and a great deal of work. Got it? We read you loud and clear. Yes. I have them eating out of my hand. Make them sweat. Push them, but don't overdo it. I want them to be in one piece and confident when they play the blues. <sighs> All right, angels, let's get to work. Hello? Alex, give me an update. The Blues are still practicing, but not very intensely. They should be wrapping up soon. Stop wiggling around like that. Oh, you mean like, uh, like this? Come on, play, move! You asked for it. <laughs> Come on, Jeremy, let Spiffy play, and let us play a little, too. Sorry, I guess I'm a little antsy. I can't seem to focus. My mind's on that concert tonight. I'm so psyched that, huh? Huh? Kiko, I'm open! getting anywhere today. We're having a little trouble focusing. Eloise is right. Let's wrap it up. I say we relax a little. Jeremy can go to his concert and we'll get some ice cream. Yeah, now that sounds like a plan. I'm off to take a shower. Later, guys. For someone who's not focused today, his legwork is awesome. No one can out-dribble him. Yeah, hello? Jeremy just left. He's all yours. Igor, fat sledgehammer? I'll take over from here. You know what you have to do. Ha! Get 
up. <coughs> Time for a little sprint. Move it! <laughs> Time tomorrow. You bet, and your hard work will pay off. You have a great chance of winning, especially since I hear your opponents aren't at the top of their form. <laughs> Where is that party animal? It's late. Jeremy, what happened? He had a little accident. Nothing serious, but the doctor at the emergency room said he needs to stay off his ankle for 10 days minimum. 10 days? What about the game? You'll have to find me a sub. I'm sorry. Oh. Huh? All right, listen up, everyone. We're going to play three on three to get a better idea of your skill, your technique, and most importantly, your teamwork. Please avoid all demonstrations of technical prowess. We're looking for someone who plays with commitment. All right, guys, give it your best shot. Tryouts make me nervous. I remember how stressed out I was when I tried out. Yeah, but this is different. It's just for one game this time, and an easy one at that. It's no big deal, really. To a good start. He hasn't made a single mistake. Yeah, he has out dribbled eight players, made seven successful passes and three steals. He's sharp, precise, and focused. <gasps> mm. yeah. Bullseye. No need to continue. Spiffy is my first choice. Yeah, I think we all agree on that. All right, thanks, guys. I think we have our player. Spiffy. You're going to substitute for Jeremy. Yeah, that's awesome. It's an honor for me to fill in for you, Jeremy. I won't let you down, I promise. Mm-hmm. Hmm? Don't worry. He's upset, but he'll get over it. In the meantime, we have our work cut out. You need to practice with us to familiarize yourself with the team. Stupid ticket. It's all because of you. Why did I go? Why? Uh! <laughs> well, Spiffy, this is it. It's the big day. You don't have the pregame jitters? No way. I'm fired up. I'm going to knock him dead. Jeremy's not coming to cheer us on? No, he's too depressed that he can't play. He'd rather stay at Riffler. It's too bad, but don't hold it against him. I would have liked him to be with us. Is everything 
right, Jeremy. Would you like me to bring you some lemonade, a couple of cookies, or some crackers? I'm fine, Miss Adelaide. Thanks. Feel free to use the computer as long as you wish. I won't be needing it today. Thanks, Miss Adelaide. That's very nice of you. Well, if there's anything you need, just let me know. Chin up! Right. I wonder where the Ghetto Blasters are playing tonight. They didn't bring me luck, but they still rock. Oh, there's the link to their tour date. It's perfect. Uh, here we go. Tonight, they're playing in Chicago. Chicago is not only their hometown, but also the headquarters of their sole official fan club. It's gonna be an awesome concert, and I'm not going. All right, I'll stop torturing myself. I think I'll play some mind-numbing video games instead. Maybe I'll blow up a few aliens. Wait a sec. Did their fan club page say Chicago? Tonight, the Ghetto Blasters play in Chicago, their hometown. Chicago's also the headquarters of their sole official fan club. The Ghetto Blasters' sole official fan club is in Chicago? Chicago. Chicago. Hmm. I'm lucky it's not trash day today. Nope, it's not a fake. It's a real ticket. Ugh. That's strange. There's no return address on the envelope. Let's see if I can read the postmark on it. It's hard to make out, but it's not from Chicago. It was sent from Maryport. Hey, guys, what's up? The angels are inside. They got here a while ago. You guys have your work cut out. Wait, what do you mean? Just that. It's not gonna be an easy game. I watched them warm up. They're not lightweights, all right? I just thought I'd warn you. Are we talking about the same team? Yeah, they haven't won a single game. Hmm. Hey, Blues, huh? I hope you're prepared. We won't go easy on you. We're always prepared. <clears throat> and we won't go easy on you either. No problem. Get ready, the angels are gonna crush you. Wow, they seem aggressive and confident. You'll do just fine. There's nothing to worry about. I'm sorry. Don't worry. The angels started off strong and took us by surprise, so we have to pick up the pace. Perfect. It could be going more smoothly. <laughs> the post office is at 22 Welter Street. We're almost there. I hope so. So, you call us, you say it's urgent, so we come pick you up. Then we pedal you all the way up the hill. Mind telling me what this is all about? Someone in Maryport sent me a free ticket, but it should have been sent from Chicago. The postman said it was mailed from Welter Street. This whole thing smells pretty fishy. Let's see now. What's in this neighborhood? Well, now, isn't that interesting? I think I'm beginning to connect the dots. The St. Xavier Academy, home of the Black Devils. there have been an empty space all of a sudden. It was super crowded before. That gap was created deliberately by the same little devils who sent me the ticket because they knew I would go to the concert. Okay, I figured it out. Where are the blues? They're playing at the junkyard behind the bypass. Then we don't have a minute to lose. Come on. But it's on the other side of town. All the more reason to get moving. Come on, hurry up. What are you waiting for, huh? Oh, 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 my leg, it's killing me. Oh, 
I think I pulled a muscle. You're injured? When? How? Where? When I was running back on defense. Ow! Oh, my shit! Don't think I can play. <laughs> but that means it'll be five against four. No, uh, I have a substitute. Hmm? Sledgehammer will replace him. What? Oh, no, not you again. What are you doing here? What's this funny business about? The angels came to me for support and advice. How could I refuse? I try to help when I can. Anyway, you shouldn't huh? complain. You use substitutes yourself, which means the use of subs was accepted by you, the blues. Don't give me that. What are you plotting this time? I know Dad, you. Nothing Dad, you do oh, is innocent. Listen, I'm sorry, but up until now, the angels haven't broken any rules. Now let's get going. This game is on. Ball to the center. Position, angels! Here it is. Just go a little further. We're gonna park off to the side. There, that's good. Stop. Whatever you do, don't make any noise. Why? You didn't see her? She's here. Who's here? Shh. Vic? I thought the Blues played the Angels today. Yeah! Looks like the Angels made a pact with the Devils. Luckily, good old Jeremy put two and two together. Don't let anyone see you. An envelope? A post office stamp? The Angels with the Devils? To be honest, I don't really get the connection, but I'm sure glad he does. Mm. Play number 12. They even have game strategies worked out. Don't worry about that. Get on your man. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> One all. Ball to center. Possession blues. It's all right. We're much better than them. Sledgehammer is the only threat. The others are lightweight. He has a point. We're a long way from winning this game. You. Uh-huh. My shin, ow! But I didn't touch her, I swear! Ow! It hurts! Ow! I think I'm going to need a substitute. One will replace her. <laughs> oh, come on. You're not gonna allow that, are you? What do you want me to do? I don't make the rules. I just apply them. Huh? Yeah! <laughs> yeah! This is the worst game ever. Huh? Yeah! Ah! One, the sharpshooter. <laughs> Two, one. I can't believe we're ahead. Too bad we're not out there, huh? It'll be our turn to shine next time. Here, huh? Huh? these could come in handy. Oh, hey, you're one of the blues. You're injured as well. Mm-hmm. What a coincidence. Uh, Thanks. That's really mm -hmm. nice of you. I feel much better now. You misunderstood uh -huh. me. It's not for your legs. It's for your brain, dude. That's what's wrong with you. I don't get it. Right, because if you did, you'd realize you were being manipulated by that snake there. What did she promise you, huh? How'd she reel you in? Forget it. You wouldn't understand. You play with the blues, you're winners. Without Vic, we were just nothing. Thanks to her, we'll make it to the top. Don't tell me you actually believe that. She's just using you. And when she's done with you, she'll forget all about you. Huh? Oh. Ah. Not this time. Huh? Nice! That's the spirit. Never give up. Biffy, that was awesome. Street soccer at its best. Two on. Nelson, get ready. You're going in the goal. But that'll be the third sub in one game. So, what counts is that the Blues lose. If the Angels weren't so lame, we wouldn't have this problem. I can't wait for this game to be over. I'm sick of wasting my time on those losers. Ooh, that, my friends, was heartfelt. Uh, oh. Uh, oh, my stomach, it hurts. Not again. You're going a little overboard. Nelson is replacing him. And if you have something to say, be my guest. Don't tell me you think three subs in one game is normal. Granted, it's rare, but it can happen, you know. Forget it, Vic. Huh? What are you doing, you morons? You're not limping, you're injured, remember? This game is over. The victory goes to the Blues. The Angels forfeit the game. No! 
I won't let you do that. Not after all the time I spent helping you sorry losers improve. The only sorry loser here is you, Vic. Oh! <gasps> it doesn't matter. On the field, Nelson, Fat, and me, of course. Hey, Toots. Huh? I don't know if you washed your ears properly this morning, but the Angels forfeit the game, okay? This game is over. Whoa! Whoa huh? Next time, Vic, why don't you send me two tickets? One for me, and one for my bodyguard. We're rid of her this time. Wow, I guess she'll never change, huh? She's a psycho. Yeah, I know. It's a shame. Hey, um, you guys have no idea what's been going on behind the scenes. You know, I'm not one to brag, but I did some pretty impressive detective work. Mm -hmm. Compared to me, Sherlock Holmes was just a fool with a funny hat. <laughs> Samira! Tack, tack, tack. Stop making yeah. fun of them. I'm not. That's how you say thank you in Swedish. You say tack, not taratack. FYI, taratatack means thank you very much. And if you want to say thanks a million, it's taratataratatack. Isn't that right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Get moving, I don't have all day. Hey, knock it off. Play out the horn, will you? As soon as you get this traffic moving, what's the problem? Well, there's a game up the street. The Blues are playing. The world champions. The Blues? Really awesome. But I thought the qualification game was tomorrow. It is. This is just a friendly game. They're playing a Swedish team that came all the way here to see how they measure up to our champions. <laughs> game over. Blues win 12 to 1. Good game. Even though you only scored once, it was a nice one. I mean it. Doc, pure chance, lucky shot. No, it was destiny, not luck, my friend. There's no such thing as a lucky <laughs> shot. Just destiny. Bye. Have a safe trip. Our regards to Sweden. Doc, 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 champions. Bye, everyone. They came all this way Bye. for some stupid game. Now what? They're gonna drive back to the airport and go back home? <laughs> what a waste. There's better ways to spend your money. You don't get it, Uncle Toto. Playing against the world champions is worth it. Those five brats there, world champions are what? Of street soccer, of course. Five against five, where and when you want. No out of bounds, and the game stops for no one. Ever. Except to let an ambulance go by, or a fire truck, or a hearse. They have a game the day after tomorrow on Regal Square. Wanna come? I've got more important things to worry about. Wait, did you just say they'll be playing on Regal Square with this same noise and commotion? Yeah, with an even bigger crowd. It's a qualification game for the next World Championship. You interested? No, you knucklehead. On Regal Square, there's a ritzy jewelry shop. You gave me an idea. You follow me? The wind jam is confirmed for the day after tomorrow. They seem pretty tough. It won't be easy. All of them are kids of Atlantic fishermen. They're hard as nails, the kind that grew up on the docks, nursed on soccer and sardines. Well, they don't sound like featherweights. Wow, not bad. Oh, when do you introduce me? Actually, Sam, you'll meet them sooner than you think. But once they're in front of you, you might run the other way. Don't worry, you have nothing to fear, because Jeremy the Hulk is here to protect you. <laughs> you look more like Jeremy Cricket. <laughs> <laughs> to play the Windjammers, we have to be prepared. It would help if we practiced on turf that's similar to theirs, like the docks. That's good, but I was thinking of something more like, um, this. Sansi, let's split up. Try to block him from the other side. <laughs> the stowaway is on his way, Captain! Yoo-hoo! Ah! Look what I found! 
You get it, Uncle? You can play anywhere in street soccer. Nothing is out of bounds. Yeah, yeah, and it's played five on five. I know all that. But you said they don't stop the game except when? To let a hearse go by, or a fire truck or an ambulance. Oh, and, um... I get it, okay? Now it's your turn to listen to me, boy. Like I said, I have an idea. On Regal Square, there's a jewelry shop. Now here's the plan. Huh? Hey, guys! Hey, Shark. The Windjammers are meeting you here at the square directly. They spent the night at a motel off the highway, just outside of Maryport. The captain's brother gave the team a ride. You mean they drove all the way to Maryport? That's a heck of a long drive. Excellent. That'll give us an advantage. They'll be exhausted and we'll be fresh as cucumbers. Yeah, right. Dream on. Don't count on it. <laughs> Welcome to Maryport. Hi, I'm Tag. Lucas. This is my older brother, Gino. And behind me, the wind jammers. You had a long drive. You must be exhausted. If you want to rest, we could play this afternoon instead. Thanks, but we're tough. We can handle it. And we're fired up and we want to play right away. Let's go then. See, Jeremy? It'll take more than that to tire them out. Yeah, we'll see about that. The gang's about to begin. Perfect. Now, if I'm not mistaken, the safe of the jewelry shop should be right above here. Huh? You're sleeping out there, Jeremy. Come on, wake up. Yeah. Wake up, guys. Come on. Your brother has a strong team. You're pretty Thanks, it's a family tradition. I created the Windjammers a while back, when I was younger. Then I passed it down to Lucas. The Windjammers have always been hey. the best team in the region. Huh? Yeah, you. Come. I have something for you to cheer the blues up. Oh. Here, we're gonna make some noise. Boom, boom. Wow. <laughs> it's gonna be loud. Let's go blues. Boom, boom. <laughs> things are loud. And I don't want to cheer the blues on. I'm on the side of the losing team. Come on, please. You have a lighter, huh? All right, kid, but don't hurt yourself. Here, I'll do it. Careful now. Yes, plan couldn't be going better. Well done. Jackpot. What's the matter with you? Uh, you rowdy punks. Someone could have gotten hurt. I don't understand. They were harmless little firecrackers and uh... What kind of example are you setting? Shame on you. Giving bad ideas to impressionable youngsters. But no more firecrackers. Come on, guys. Keep it up. Samira, I'm open. Huh? Time out. Purse passing. Yeah, the blues rock! You idiot, we're trying to be discreet. Drive near that 4x4 four four and give me a few firecrackers. But you didn't like them. They're not going to go off. Don't worry, I know what I'm doing. That 4x4 four four belongs to the team that's playing the blues. Get it? <laughs> ah, I've been burglarized. My safe was broken into. My jewels are gone. It's a disaster, officer. Look, the burglars came in through the hole in the ground. How did they do it? Dynamite, I guess. They, they didn't leave anything. Diamonds, rubies, gone. Hmm. Dynamite. That's what the firecrackers were for. 
to camouflage the sound of the explosion. Uh, but it wasn't me. Those Is that so? If it wasn't you, who was it? Santa Claus? It wasn't me, officer. It was the kid. No! Oh, ah! The kid? <laughs> That's a good one. Keep lying. You'll make things worse for yourself. I had nothing to do with it, I swear. Gino, what's going on? Don't worry. Gino! Bad news, guys. He's been charged. It's official. They found firecrackers under his 4x4, and they're grilling him right now. What's more, Gino has a police record. He was involved with smugglers, except he didn't know it. But for the police, he's now labeled a criminal. <sighs> You're not alone. Don't worry. We'll get your brother out. We have to find that kid. Gino wasn't lying. This kid came up to us holding firecrackers. Why didn't you bring him here, Cartoon? He's scared to death, poor kid. He made me promise not to tell anyone, and then he bolted like lightning. Shark could find a needle in this city. We'll find him. Yeah, it'll be fine. He's innocent, and we'll prove it. I already have a buyer lined up. This time tomorrow, it'll be a done deal. Will you check out this loot? <laughs> I'm a genius. <laughs> you and I will be living a high life with this for quite some time. Hey, what's with the long face? I went into town earlier, and it's a disaster. What is it? Are the cops on to us? It's not that, Uncle. It's the Blues. <sighs> the Blues were winning, but because of the burglary, they stopped the game. Dimwit, moron, what's inside that head of yours? Confetti? You almost gave me a heart attack over a bunch of snot-faced little punks. But if they lose the game, they'll go down in the rankings. They won't qualify for the World Cup. What do I care? <laughs> If it wasn't to help out my sister who brought you into this world, I would have stopped taking you around with me a long time ago. It was a grown-up who gave me the firecrackers. I didn't mean to do anything bad. We know you didn't. It's not your fault. That mean man tricked you. Tell me, did you ever see him before? Uh-uh. Man, he's from out of town. Everyone knows each other in this neighborhood. By sight, at least. Will you come with us and talk to the police? <gasps> Mommy! I'm not sure that's a good idea. This has been quite an ordeal for him, I'm afraid. Even if he had the courage to go to the police, they might not believe him. I think we can figure something out on our own. Okay, no police. But how about coming to our game tomorrow? Okay, I'll come if Mommy will let me. Sure, <laughs> say goodbye now. It's time to go to bed. Why'd you invite the kid to a game? I think I might have an idea. I think the guy with the firecrackers is a soccer fan. He knew we were going to play, he knows the rules of street soccer, and he exploited them. Think back. Minutes after the explosion, we saw a hearse drive by, remember? And we stopped the game. Well, the driver of the hearse opened his window to cheer the blues on. He has to be one of our fans, and I bet you anything he'll come to watch us play again. So let's lure him with the Windjammers rematch, the game we had to interrupt. I get it. That way, the kid can make a few rounds through the crowd, and maybe he'll recognize him. Clever! But it won't work unless the crowd is calm. For that to happen, we have to disappoint them. In other words, the Windjammers win. You mean rig the game? It's fine with me, but will Fede go for it? All right, kids. I accept Tag's plan, but only under two conditions. Coach has to be there with you. And once you identify the man, you go no further. Don't put yourselves in danger under any circumstances. Once you identify him, you are to call the police and let them handle it. Is that clear? Yeah, don't worry, Fede. We won't take any risks. This is uh, a qualification game for the world championship between the Blues and the Windjammers. Here we go. <laughs> Game? You're supposed to look at the crowd, kid. Come on. 
Look around and tell me if you see the man with the firecrackers. Jamas. That was the worst game ever. Yeah, the Blues were totally out of it. Man, they might not get qualified now. Well, no luck. I guess he didn't come to the game after all. I'll go tell Tag. All right. If this guy is a Blues fan, it looks like he decided to stay home today. There! The Firecracker Man! Over there! Between the trees! Man, when I think they were winning the other day... Let's follow him. No, first we have to warn the others. Yeah, but he'll get away. Okay, you're gonna follow him while I... No, that's too dangerous. All right, listen, I'll follow him while you... Um... No, I'm scared. Don't leave me alone. Okay, we'll go get tagged together, but quickly. Tag! Maroon jersey, tall, brown hair. Quick, or we'll lose him. There, in the maroon car! I can't see the license plate. The bikes! We can't Ooh. afford to lose them! No! It's too dangerous! His brother's in prison. We can't keep him from going. I guess not. Go with him. I'll follow him on the car, but stay in touch by phone. Just be careful. That road leads to Casanova, a neighborhood above the docks. I know a shortcut. Still no answer. Try again, once more. Get the number. The license plate. I can't see it from here. I think he spotted me. Go up the hill and stop at the top. Ah, the license plate. I can see it now. Ready? Jot it down. It's all right. I got it. Mission accomplished. I'll give Coach the number, and he'll communicate it to the police. Then I think we should all go sit in a cafe and try to relax a little. Mind telling me what you've been up to today? Who? Me? Nothing. I've just been out and about. You had to watch those blasted blues play, ah. didn't you? How'd you know? Because they followed you, you fool. I don't know how, but they spotted you, and they got your license plate number, you moron. But it's all right. It's under control. I put a fake license plate on. <laughs> Uncle Toto has more than one trick up his sleeve. Now take off that fake plate, and the cops can look for us all they want. When you've done that, take the goods to the address I gave you and wait for me there. Once we get the dough, we'll lay low and disappear for a while, okay? Wait, what about you, Uncle? What are you going to do? I'm gonna make those nosy brats pay. They need to learn to mind their own business. No one messes with me. Everything's taken care of. Coach gave Snide the license plate number. He's taking the kid home as we speak. Don't worry, it's just a matter of time. Gino will be released soon. Genghis Khan, it's your old pal Toto. Yeah, listen, I've got a little job for you. There's this group of nosy punks, and I want you to teach them a good lesson. I knew he was rotten, but not this rotten. He has no right. They're good kids. They don't deserve it. And they're our champions. So many kids need street soccer. They need them. So many kids like 
Me. Hey, pass! Ah! Yeah! Yeah! Huh? No. I can't let him do that. No way. They're here for the lemonade. Run for your lives! Oh. Oh. Yeah! Oh. Ah. Ah. Leave those kids alone! Let's get out of here! Have you got nuts? Go deliver the loot, moron! Go on, get out of here! I don't work for you anymore. Take the loot, it's yours! Wow, it was like magic. One minute you weren't here, and the next, poof, you appeared out of the blue. Yeah, how'd you get here so fast? Uh, Coach was worried, so he asked me to come here and keep an eye on you. For your own protection. He was right, too. Coach! Ah, <laughs> oh, there you are. What a relief. You're safe and sound. I can't begin to imagine what Miss Adelaide would have done to me if something had happened to you. <laughs> hey, Lucas. Gino! <laughs> I'm proud of you. I knew you'd hang tough. You never gave up. And, oh, thank you, Blues. Hey, kids, I still have the ball in the minibus. What do you say your two teams play a real game now? Yeah! yeah! Some people are acting like they're already champions. Look at them, they think they're hot stuff. But you'll get qualified, I'm sure. I'm going to explode. I can't take it. We have nothing to go on, not a clue, nothing at all. Zero. No sweat, Gabe. The blues are the best. Relax. It's the moment you've all been waiting for, everyone. In just a few seconds, Fide will be with us online to announce the names of the teams qualified for the next World Cup. Hello. I would like to congratulate you all for the immense effort and energy you put into these trials. I don't want to keep you in suspense much longer, so without further ado, I'm going to announce the list of teams qualified for the next World Championship. Representing the Arctic, the Polar Bears of Greenland. Yeah! For the African continent, the Batusi of Kilimanjaro and the Sai Sai of Dakar. Yeah! For Asia, the Mekong Serpent and the Tokyo Samurai. Great, but uh, what about Europe? Come on! For the American Pools, the Meninos of Brazil, yeah! the Gauchos of Buenos Aires, and the Kingston Dreads. Who cares about the Americas? Just get on with Europe! There's a problem in one of the European pools. Two teams tied number one in the rankings. A game will be required to determine the winner. The two teams on top are the Black Devils and the Blues of the Ripla Institute. Whoever wins the game will be qualified for the World Cup. We'll have to watch our backs. The Devils will stop at nothing to get qualified. I wouldn't be surprised if they tried one of their schemes again. So let's be careful. We can't drop our guard. Jeremy, I've been more than satisfied with your progress this year. For the record, I sent a favorable report on your behalf to the Board of Education, but, um... What? I didn't work hard enough? No, you worked very hard, but 
The school board has requested to re-examine your file. In 48 hours, a special commission will be coming to Riffler. They will be conducting an oral examination as well as a psychological evaluation. If Jeremy fails the evaluation, he will be transferred to a juvenile correctional institution. But what about the game, the timer? We'll worry about that later. For the time being, focus on the commission. It's all taken care of. Professor Gilodoni will head the commission. He's an old colleague of mine. Trust me, Jeremy Weber doesn't stand a chance. Good. That way the Blues won't be able to focus on the game. Nothing can stop us from winning now, Dad. Nothing. Victory is ours for the taking. Yes. And afterwards, the World Cup is waiting just around the corner. Must be Professor Gilardoni. It's a pleasure to meet you. Let's get on with it. Huh? After a four month voyage across the Atlantic Ocean, Christopher Columbus arrives in Hispaniola on December the 5th, 1492. Yes, well, anyone can spout off dates. We're not here to test your memory. Could you please explain the strategic importance of this new route in the geopolitical organization of 15th century Europe? I am listening. Uh, the strategic geo... what? Professor Gilardoni, I protest. That kind of question is not suited to his grade level. I beg to differ. Questions such as this allow us to determine the intrinsic intelligence of the student. Answer, I'm waiting. Uh, yes. Um, Christopher Columbus discovers America, and, um, in Europe, uh, everyone's really happy because uh, now people can finally go to America. There. <laughs> Insufficient, but I'm going to be nice. I'll ask you an easier one. Give me an overview of the Manning formula. Huh? What? No one studies that before university. Even I haven't mastered it yet. And I'm one of the top five students in the region. Silence! This commission will not tolerate disrespect. Now, since Manning seems to have been omitted from this school's curriculum, we will now proceed with a personality test. If you were to break the window of a shop, which of these two objects would you choose? Now, wait a minute. What kind of a test is this? It's... it's unacceptable. It is a simple test to determine his degree of vandalism. I've read over his file. Weber is a rebellious teen. Rebellious? Perhaps, but I assure you he has never been violent. Look, why don't you just come out and say it? You came here with the sole intention of nailing Jeremy. How dare what? you? I demand an apology. I will not tolerate this kind of insolence. I demand he be expelled immediately. Out of the question. I stand by him and support his accusations. It is clear you have come here with the sole intention of making sure Jeremy is sent to a reformatory. I see. All right, then. In that case, as head of the Special Commission of the Board of Education of Maryport, I declare Miss Adelaide temporarily suspended from her duties as principal of the Riffler Institute. Furthermore, this establishment is now under my responsibility. As for Jeremy Weber, he will be transferred to the Villa Cerro Correctional Institution. Oh, no! Oh, yes! They'll straighten you out over there, you hoodlum! No one has ever defended me like that. I'll never forget it. Let's go. <sighs> Hang in there, Jeremy. We'll find a solution. doing here, you lazy bums? Move it! Get to class! Let's go! Huh? Now, uh, now, coach. You stay with the children. They need you. You're all they have left. Victoria, excellent news. Our plan was more successful than expected. Not only was the Weber boy sent to a correctional institution, but Miss Adelaide was suspended from her functions. <laughs> that is good news. It'll destroy their morale. Excellent. to read. 
we assure you, we and the boys will do everything we can to fix this up. Tag, is that it? What a ridiculous name. You think you're tough, huh? Well, you're going to scrub all the dorms from top to bottom. I want those floors to sparkle, you understand? And when you're done, you're going to clean the toilets. Get to work. And you there, listen up. I want you to fully reorganize the library catalog. This school is a disaster. Sir, we can't. We don't have time. Tag and I have an important athletic competition coming up. We uh, were supposed to be <laughs> at practice. <laughs> practice? <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> I heard everything. He's not gonna let you practice, and I'm sure he won't let you play in the tiebreaker. We'll find a solution. Go see Eloise Shark and Samira. Tell them to meet me in the basement here tonight. Okay, I'll let them know. Mm. We're on the verge of disaster. Gillardoni grounded us, and Jeremy's locked up. It's time to fight back, counterattack. If you're wondering who's behind this, I'll tell you who. The devils. I'm positive, I know it. We need to find their weaknesses and use them. I want information on each of the Black Devils. I want to know everything about them. If one of them sucks his thumb while he's asleep, then I want to know. Okay, you can count on us. I want the entire terrace overlooking the ocean to be lit. The atmosphere should be magical. Mr. Malotra, since the gala is this evening, I wanted to show you the venue. Look, what a view. It's going to be a sumptuous occasion. And the Black Devils will be the guests of honor. Ha! Ah. Show me the list of the things you need, honey. Oh, video equipment, huh? No problem, Eloise. Colonel, Madam, Excellency. My dear Victoria, you are the guest of honor tonight. The High Society of Maryport is very eager to meet you and your team. Oh. Oh, oh, yes, the Rifflers. We couldn't exactly not invite the Rifflers. They're part of High Society, too, you know. Quick, we don't have much time. Cartoon, headbutt, you know what you have to do, but don't go overboard, okay? Just a little bit! Uh, Coach told me all about your plan. Miss Adelaide, please don't try to stop us from going. No one threatens my boys or my school and gets away with it. Here's a map of St. Xavier. I marked the location of Mr. Malotra's office. And this is an outbuilding used by Victoria's headquarters for her team. Do what you have to do, boys. the peace, endangering the lives of others, prohibited pyrotechnic devices. 
unsupervised miners under your responsibility. Oh, so that's why you gave me the night off, to organize this disaster. Hmm? From the looks of it, he's been drinking tonight. Uh, no! I, I, I... You can save your breath for the judge, you irresponsible degenerate! That's right. No, way. This is all a terrible misunderstanding! <laughs> Jeremy's locked up. Gabriel and Tang grounded at Rippler? Why are you here, I wonder? Unless you came here tonight to forfeit the game? Don't worry about the blues, Victoria. Not only will we be there, but we'll win. Good evening, Mayor. Good evening, Mr. Malatra. We organized a surprise for you, and it's just arrived. May I have your attention? Our opponents, the Devils, are far from their families. Tonight, the Blues would like to honor them with a special huh? message. But, my dear son, your father and I are very proud that you made it to the finals. Extremely proud, son. Thanks. Our thoughts are with you. Lots of love. Nelson Karinhu, you are our hero. You have become a role model in the favelas. Thanks to soccer, you have become a good person, upright and honest. Make us proud. Big kisses. Igor, my son, never forget this. Street soccer is much more than a sport. It teaches you valuable life lessons. Things like respect and loyalty. Believe in yourself and you will win. That's the magic of street soccer. It's a spirit that unites us and makes us champions in all circumstances, whether we win or whether we lose. Don't listen to her. Can't you see what she's trying to do? Our qualification is at stake. Don't let yourselves get manipulated. If we start doing everything by the book, we'll all go back to the gutter where we came from. I'm not from the gutter, Vic. You're the one who lives in a gutter filled with hatred and scorn. Come on, Vic. Uh? Tell us once and for all, do you really think we can't win if we play by the rules? Because if we can't, I'll quit. He's right. I will, too. I want to win fair and square, by the rules. Otherwise, it's meaning. If you don't want to listen to them, Vic, you'll listen to me. We took a private little tour of St. Xavier. We found proof of all the schemes you and your father have been up to. We could show it to Fede. <gasps> we don't want to get you disqualified, though. We just want the game to be played by the rules. Um, uh... Just say yes, period. You owe us that, Vic. You owe it to us. You owe it to them. And you owe it to the street soccer. That's what you want. Well, 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 Mr. Malotra, your friend Giladoni confessed everything regarding Jeremy. If you're looking for him, he's at the police station. <laughs> Let's hear it for the Blues, the world champions. <laughs> and for their opponents, the Black Devils. Back, Jeremy. We're gonna win this game. Check it out, Headbutt! Back up just arrived! The Techno Twins. I thought you were on the road with Olympic. We were given special permission to attend your game. Heads or tails? Tails. Coach told me about everything that's been going on. And I'm very impressed with how you handled the situation. Heads, the Devils kick off. <laughs> than them.
Are you okay? Yeah, I think so. Uh, you didn't try to score, you aimed straight at her. You try to injure her deliberately. Get off the field and put a uh, sub in. Otherwise, I'll send you off and the devils will play us four. Uh, oh. <laughs> I'll get my revenge! I'm going in for Vika's sub, and Fat is going in for Nelson. That is full time. It's a draw. Let's proceed with the penalty shootout for the tiebreaker. We prefer sudden death. Yeah, so do we, Fede. If you'll agree to it, we'd rather continue. The first team to score wins the game. Street soccer belongs to you, kids. You invented it. If that's what both of your teams want, so be it. <whistles> ah! Ow! I don't believe this. I sprained my ankle. Ah! No, we'll sub for him. No, you go ahead, Tech. Ah! Take your pick, Blues. Oh! Tech or no? Hurry up. Oh! Tech's going in. Good luck, Tech! Thanks. are qualified for the World Championship. like it was just yesterday, doesn't it? Yeah, and here we are, on our way to a second world championship. I don't know how we did it. The Blues are a strong team, and you're a great leader, Tag. You should be proud of yourself. Parents, teachers, a word that will keep on running the streets. 